Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 1 Complete Plus Extras. A new game and stuff. I it it's you, you get the idea. It's it's new game plus extras mode or styles or LP or I don't know. It's something. Anyway, we have things to do. We have a lot of stuff. We're gonna be we're in Etna mode, so that's that's a thing. And yeah, we're gonna be doing some stuff. We're gonna be seeing an extra ending. We're gonna be fighting some cool people, probably, or maybe we won't, but most likely we will. And yeah, maybe some other surprises along the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so with that being said, let's go and take a quick peek. I need to do this anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do it right now. And we're going to unlock the alternate netherworld. Actually, I might have this already set. Maybe I don't need to do this. We'll see. I might need to do it. I might not. Anyway, for right now, we have something else we're going to do. We're going to go to Beauty Castle. So I have already unlocked the Cave of Ordeal. As I'm sure you guys are aware, Cave of Ordeal 5. All the way through, there's nothing at the end in Etna mode uh, beyond the Cave of Ordeal 5. Uh, Cave of Ordeal 3 in Etna mode is a really, 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 really good place to level up. And especially if you pass the max enemy build, I don't believe we are on that at this point. We might actually be on the max enemy build. I'm sorry. So I might have to lower that. But we're just going to go hop over here with uh, Arzlo real quick. And do one of those. And as you see, that is a pretty quick and easy way to level up. It is what it is. Anyhow, so I think what we need to do then is actually we need to go in here and we need to lower it down to the weakest enemies, I think. I think that's that's acceptable. We should be able to pass this easy. They they don't like when we fight strong enemies. They're like, yes, you want some weak enemies. We will love you and hold you and stroke you for or something. I don't know. It's fine. All right, that is done. We are on our way to actually do the Beauty Castle. So we've unlocked that, which I believe, was that the Mysterious Seal? I think it was. And now we're going to go to the Beauty of Evil. Master Etna, I sense demons around here, dude. Okay. I know you're here. Quit hiding and show yourself already. Huh. This aura. Could it be history's worst demon witch? Apparently it is. So again, we, we did this in the regular playthrough with Laharl and all that stuff, but in Etna mode, it's different. You know her, dude? Her dark power? She laid waste to all sorts of kingdoms. And I'm talking salt in the netherworld kind of stuff. Good God, Lord, dude! Good God, Lord, dude. Heroes who challenged her were all turned to stone and used as part of her castle. That's one mean lady, dude! But she was dumped by all the men she ever dated, so she began drinking heavily. <laughs> what? She uses makeup to hide her age, but even that is reaching its limits. Oh, dear. She's the ultimate evil witch, dude! The wickedest of all! Okay. Enough with the tabloid headlines. She's just a powerful witch. I don't know why, but she looks angry. Watch out, guys. Don't know why. You're the one who's making her mad, dude! <laughs> Lots of backhands. All right. So we're going to be facing off against Marjorie once more, as we did before with Lahara. Only this time we have... Oh, she's level 9,999. Hmm. Well, it could be a little bit of a problem, but I think we'll be alright. We have Arzlo with her amazing, amazing Yashitsuna. That's maxed out, like a boss. And we're just going to Dimension Slash, probably murder murder them pretty badly. Alright, so... I think I'm just going to one return. We'll just let Arzlo take this? care of it. And I think that's that. Alright, she is done to... Oh, we, we got like poisoned or something at the end there. It took a tremendously huge amount of damage, but we're okay. Marjorie vanished into the mist, mists of darkness. Mists. Ooh, that was close. She was hella damn powerful. 
Is that the same voice for Etna? I feel like it, it sounds different. Actually, I think she was pissed because Master Etna was mocking her, dude. Really? Well, who cares? I had a lot of fun. If that's how demons are, I want to hurry up and reincarnate, dude. Yep, yeah, no doubt. Okay, so we did that. And now we're going to do a quick cut and return. Stronger than ever before. And we shall face off against, I think, prayer is the next one up on our to-do list. So, I'll be right back, guys and gals. And I have returned, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome back to the Freak Show. All right, so if I recall correctly, I need to check my uh, thingy here, the summons and whatnot. Okay, we have the alternate nether wheel already. We've got all the stuff that we need. All right, cool. So what we're going to do now is we are going to head over here. And yes, I'm going to select a place that I would like to go. We've already done the beauty castle. I'm just going to go confirm that we've been there a few times. The cave of ordeal has been maxed out. And the alternate netherworld. It's time for us to face off against the warrior maiden, Prier. Are you ready? Let's hope. Let's hope. Master Etna! Someone's coming towards us, dude! A human? But what's with this evil aura? Surprise! I didn't think she really existed. Huh? Master Etna, do you know that human? I heard there was a human who became obsessed with the dark side and now wanders the netherworld. Mm-hmm. But this dark aura doesn't seem human, dude. Since she's been wandering the netherworld, her powers increased to overlord status. I thought she was just a stupid rumor. But it looks like she's for real. All right. That's not good, dude! I'm out of here! Huh? What's wrong with you? I can't run from a human. I'm a demon, you know? Besides, True. I'm as powerful as an overlord. I want to see who's more fit to rule the netherworld. Oh, okay. All right, so we're going to phase off against Prayer once more. But, um, again, unfortunately, it's not really Edna who's proven anything. It's, it's kind of... Kind of Arzla's kind of doing the heavy lift in there, but that's okay. We have Maggie and Illumina and Prayer or Prayer, pri huh? No. We have Planair, so why not Prayer? It's fine. Oh, sure, why not? We'll Yoshitsuna it up again. All right, and goodbye. You may notice that she's a little bit stronger than she was before. If you take a look down in her level region. Yeah, we, we done did some grinding, and we're about to hit that max level, folks. That's right, we're about to hit 9,999, like promised. That's right, we're doing all this stuff. We're going to see every ending. Granted, it won't all be in this. It'll be throughout all of my series, so you're going to have to look at the end of Disgaea 1 PC, or just, sorry, Disgaea PC, to see the quote-unquote normal slash bad ending that you would get uh, if you play through your first time. And then you'll have to look at the end of Etna mode, or Disgaea 1 complete Etna mode, to see the normal end for Etna mode. And then in this one, you can see all the others as we go and we do various things to unlock them all. So let's end our turn, and let's us see what is next. I think right now we've seen three endings. That's all that we've seen. I mean, I could just do that again. Like, I, mean, I don't even have to really do much. We're just going to hit, we're going to counter, and boom, it's done. Like, we're right there, right at the precipice. What's wrong? Is that it? You did well for a human, but you picked a fight with the wrong demon. It is a little unfortunate that they don't stay with you in Etna mode. Prier disappeared into the darkness, not using the word That's mists this time. Human, dude. Damn, she would have been handy. I wanted her to reincarnate as a prinny. That would have been sick. I, yes, I would have gone with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, that unlocks another thing that we're going to go and do right now. All right, we're going to go through the Patriarch Seal. It's going to be super easy because, you know, we're kind of a big deal. Also, we're about to level up and hit that coveted 9,999 that we've been gunning for. 
this entire time. And there it is. See? We've done it. It's a thing. It exists. We have done it. We are a superhero. By the way, going through the item world, you don't really want to use your... Uh, well, you can, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. You don't want to use the hyperdrive unless you need it in the item world because not only can you not just like teleport in onto the thing right away, the uh, exit portal, you can't at all. You can never leave as long as you have that equipped. So you actually have to take the hyperdrive off and either equip something else or just leave a blank spot. So not not exactly great, but I mean, it, it's it's still pretty good. And besides, you just have somebody else if you get there. All right, so we're gonna go face off against a ball again, or a bow, or ball, whatever. And we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, this is gonna bring about an ending, though, guys and gals. So, this will actually give us the end. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that we need to do in Etna mode? I don't think so, I think we're pretty much done. So, say goodbye to Etna mode, again, for now and possibly forever. I think this is gonna be our last endeavor into Etna mode. Now, one thing I haven't done and I'd like to before I completely finish up my New Game Plus Extras series. I've never done Printy Day or anything of that nature, so I'm going to have to see if I can't maybe level up a few printies off camera or something and then attempt to do a Printy Day on something? I, I don't know. I know. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty eager to check it out and see what all that, you know, what that all has to offer. But that's going to be a tale for another time. I do want to tell you guys that following the ending that we're going to have we're going to this episode's not going to end we're going to let the credits play through and then we're going to hop back in so you guys can sit and enjoy that because there's like a unique so, uh, song soundtrack thing that plays with each ending so i'd like you guys to see all that stuff and enjoy it but i'm going to come back after the end of this maybe you know what? maybe i'll just you know you know what? i'm just going to do a short episode so you guys don't have to stick around and wait if you just want to see the ending go and enjoy it and then the next episode, essentially, I just want to show you guys that I have, I have pre, there we go. I have uh, pre-calibrated our Yoshitsuna 2, uh, Rarity 2 that we got. So the one that we got when we got our hyperdrive, playing from level 0 or 1 all the way through the item world, defeating the item god. Um, it's all primed and ready for level 99. All I have to do at this point is finish the next level and that's actually for another ending that's going to be coming in the next episode so things are prepared guys and gals things are ready so let's go get this ending done and over with and out of the way and you guys will get to see the final true boss fight for i want to say for edna mode but i feel like this is probably the hardest boss fight in the entire game that reminds me i want to do one more thing mm. Just give me a minute. I'm trying to think of how I want to to do this. I think that's fine. Um, your movement's 10. Your movement's 10. And your movement's also 10. Mm. Forgive me while I contemplate this. Uh, I think I'm going to put the hyperdrive on Kalar. Okay. I, this could be a mistake. I'm letting you know right now that this could be a, a very, very, very big mistake. But I don't think it is. So we'll see. Alright. To Ball Castle. Lord of Terror. So far this is my favorite ending, by the way. There he is. That can't be good. Well, in that case, I guess I gotta fight him. Master Etna, leave it to me, dude! Oh, yeah? He's got some guts for a pretty. Oh, look! The pretties have come together! Uh-oh. <laughs> I've been waiting for this, dude! Tyrant Ball, please defeat the hated Etna! Uh... You're joking, right? <laughs> is futile, dude. No one can defeat Tyrant Ball. Yes. Fine. 
I'll just beat this clown and make myself the tyrant beauty queen overlord. Nice. Okay. Let's do this. That That's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so there's absolutely no conceivably possible way we could ever win this fight. Unless we can take out the uh, boosts. So, we need to make sure we take out the silence. And we need to make sure we take out the cloning. We, basically, we have to kill all of them. Like, we, we have no choice. Like, it has to happen. So, that being said... We need Arzla to start by taking out... Well, well, hmm. I feel like we should start by taking out the silence, but also maybe taking out the... Yeah, we'll do the silence. No lifting. That's fine. Alright, so we're going to take out the silence. It's not a big issue. We're going to go probably like right there-ish. And we're going to go with the Geo symbol because of her Yashitsuna. She can attack that and bam. It's gone, so no more silence. And now we can utilize our other people to get things handled. So, we're going to say... Good day to you guys. We're going to have Kalark come and take care of the no lifting one, I think. I should have done that differently, I'm sorry. I just realized that I did a dumb thing. It's fine. Could have done it that way and eliminated all of them. And basically, we need to get Bumpy up there to do that. So, you know what we need. We need a sacrificial goat. I mean, technically, we don't. Like, Bumpy should be able to do this. Maybe we still do. We still need a sacrificial goat. Don't get me wrong. There we go. So, no more cloning, no more anything. So, this is all basically, we're back to square one at this point. A bunch of printies that had turned on us. I mean, like, that's a pretty cool premise. I like that. And then we had the big bad meanie stinky pants McGee here himself. Also level 9,999. He's got 7.7 .7 million health. Versus Arzla only having 1.28. She could she could use a little bit of a um, strengthening and whatnot, but that's alright. Alright, who you know what? We're we're gonna we're gonna hmm, I think we're just going to stick you here, and that should be enough. We're going to try to do a little, little bit less cheesing, and we'll see how it works. So yeah, you should absolutely die to this. And you did. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use Winged Slayer. Yeah, and we're, we're not going to do a whole lot ourselves on onto a Vine. However, the Night Sever will do some work. So we just did 2.3 million to him. He's not feeling too good at this point. Antros is like, you know what? Slade, we, we appreciate you. We love you. Oh, also, I should probably think about stealing stuff from this guy. Oh, yeah, the Super Robo Suit. And then I totally forgot that we can do that. I should be a little bit more uh, attentive of things. I totally forgot that was a thing that I could do. Eh, who knew? Oh, I suppose. Oh, I can eliminate the prinnies. Alright, who do we want to feed to him? I think this time we're going to feed... We'll feed Leo to him. That should be fine. Go eat Leo! Uh -oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. All right. Well, I guess we're not stealing the super robo suit. I'll do it again off camera, guys. It's fine. But that was a uh, that was a little bit frustrating. Um, no, no, don't do that. Yeah, no, he. Uh, I I didn't realize he had a line attack. If I did, I would have done things slightly different than I did. That's okay. I would I would have dra diagonal thrown. That's fine. We'll 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 drop this fool. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Dimension Slash. And I suppose we'll take out the final printy. Okay. And then you should be easily murdered. Yeah. Okay. And I think I've got what it takes to finish him off with a little bit of help from my compatriots. Alright. 
you know, maybe I should have her go first. That way the others get some cool, awesome things. Yeah, we're going to do it that way. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm probably going to end up reloading this, but eh, you never know. You never know. Like I said, he's going to end the game, so... I'm pretty sure I can do this? There it is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we did not steal the Super Robo Suit, but that's okay. Master Etna defeated the tyrant, dude! Yeah, she did. I beat the tyrant. Did we just witness history, dude? So that means I am numero uno. Yep. You defeated that monster! Is your power limitless, dude? Kind of is. Master Etna is stronger than an overlord, dude! Oh, dang. What was that? Oh, wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> yes! We had an Etna crazy laugh. The title of Overlord means nothing to me. If you guys don't want me to kill you, you better not betray me ever again! Of course not, dude! We'll stick with you forever! Yep. Remember, Beauty Queen Overlord Etna is gonna start a brand new legend! Aren't you technically Tyrant Beauty Queen Overlord Etna? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, she got Tyrant, right? Beauty Tyrant, there you go. Beauty Tyrant Overlord Queen Etna. It's getting confusing, it's fine. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another ending unlocked and showcased for all of you. So, once again, you guys can enjoy the credits if you are so inclined. Listen to the enjoyable music, the bonus soundtrack for this. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya!